So in today's lesson, we're going to enable SNMP on Windows Server. Again, we added SNMP on the discovery lesson, but in today's lesson, I'm going to make a specific lesson for how to add Windows with SNMP into Orion Server. That's great. So here, we should actually connect to the server ESXi. Of course, you can connect to the web interface here. But actually, I'd rather to use this option. I think it's much better in the lab environment. And here we can power on that virtual machine. And again, we'll double click to that virtual machine here. We can have it like the rest of virtual machine here. So when we actually log into the server, I mean to this server inside that ESXi, which is going to be this ESXi, and this is the virtual machine. And actually this is the VMware Workstation Management ESXi IP address here, which is exactly the IP address assigned to this ESXi. As you can see, the IP address is 10.1. And here, how you can actually connect to ESXi by VM Workstation, just you should go to file and connect to the server, define the IP address, username, and password. That's great, very easy. And the server is going to be, I think, 10. Yeah. So we log into that server that inside our ESXi, which is this virtual machine with this IP address. Actually, as you can see, is somehow it is slow because I'm, I think, running out of resources because now I'm actually power on more than, I think, six virtual machine, three, four, five, six, and seven virtual machine. That because I'm actually running out of memory somehow and in your lab actually as you can see for active directory i only gave it three or two gigabyte that's okay for testing and even for this virtual machine i gave i think three gigabyte and one virtual cpu so so here we'll wait for the virtual machine to power on completely So here we'll go to manage and we'll say add role and feature next and again next and next and again next to the feature section here and we'll go to the SNMP services. That's great. And we'll use SNMP WMI provider next and we actually install the SNMP services. So we'll say close actually the feature in the source successfully and here we'll go to services.msc and for Windows keep in mind that you should configure your firewall if you have firewall enabled you should add SNMP port which is 161 to your uh, Windows firewall or hardware firewall that you have it in your production network. So here we should scroll down to see SNMP service. So here for trap, we should say lab, we'll say add. We should use the access list here, which is like Cisco access list. Here again for community, we should use lab read only or read and write, whatever that you like here. And here again, we have the access list, which is going to be our Orion server. So this is how you can add SNMP role to your server and how you can enable it on your Windows services. That's great. And here, We'll go back to dashboard. We'll say manage nodes and we'll add a node. And here 
and type the IP address we will use a lab community string and here and we'll say next actually to see the resources here actually here we can see we have a lot of interfaces here you can define which one that you like I'm going to use this one which is the real one this one uh, this one the rest actually they are mini port and virtual switches so let me check out the virtual switches here So we have the second one here and this one. That's great. Only these are is going to be best option. And actually, we don't want overuse the interface here. We'll say next. And again, here we can use the sampler. We can use the sampler for gas state, power on and off operating system. The default one is going to be best for you unless that you have the reason for example you won't see the cpu or memory chart here you can go back and change the specified uh, samples pooler sorry here and here actually the node status polling you can specify the polling time and the statistics and the collect statistics and here you can define the poll engine which is primary our orion server you can have second polling engine that you can balance between your devices let's imagine that you have thousand devices you cannot monitor all those devices with the single orion server and here is the custom property which i'm going to tell you we have the lessons here how we can define the city comments and department and here is the ip address and ssh port and here is as you can see for warning and critical and capacity trending we have this configuration which is for warning we have 80 percent if the device uh, reaches 80 percent that means device should go to the warning state and for 90 percent the device will go to the critical or error state that's great and here we'll say add a note and we'll say okay so again we'll go to summary in my dashboard and here as you can see now we have VM01 that we can actually monitor it by SNMP polling so this is how we can enable SNMP and monitor it by Orion server